Yo, Vanilla, kick it one time, boy. Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new invention. You better hit bulls out of kid, don't play. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves. Okay, what's up YouTube? I thought I'd redo this video because the last one was uh, poor quality and I'm trying to make it quicker and more efficient than the previous one. So open up uh, Cydia and type in SSH and then once you type that in, scroll down, download this right here, open SSH and toggle SSH right there. And if you want SSH to always be on uh, when you turn on your phone, download this to automatic SSH. And for those of you who don't know how to download, just click on the package. For me, it says modify for you. It'll say install. Click on it and then click confirm. And then once you've done that, you're going to set your phone to the side for a second and open up uh, the internet br or your internet browser and go to this website. It will be in the description and then pick whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I use 4.1.8 as my version, but you can use any version you want. Uh, so once you, ha or once you have that downloaded, just open up, or just open it up. This is the icon right here. It's called WinSCP. And uh, then what you're gonna wanna do is do New. And back on your iPhone, you're going to want to do two things. The first one is find the little pufferfish logo that is open SSH, right, or toggle SSH right there. Click on it. Now, uh, or now once you've enabled it, now it should always stay on unless for some reason you want to disable it, which I never do, then you can click disable. So once that's on, then you want to go to settings to find your IP address. So once you're in settings, you wait for it to load up, you go to Wi-Fi, and then click this little blue arrow right here and it'll give you your IP address, and then put in your IP address right here, this is just a practice one, this isn't really my IP address, and each IP address varies and they can be different numbers, and depending on how many things you have logged onto your Wi-Fi network, your IP address will change. Username will be root, root, all lowercase, R-O-O-T. Password will be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, all lowercase. And then go save. Click what you want to save it as. Okay, now that isn't mine. This is mine. And then I, once you've done that, click login. This will pop up. And then it, should, it shouldn't come up with this screen at first. It'll come up with a screen that has like four little buttons and uh, just click yes or whatever. And uh, if for some reason that doesn't even pop up, after four seconds, if it's still not responding, automatically close out of it and then just log back in and keep trying it. And if it still doesn't work, then uh, just reboot your computer and then do it again and just keep doing it and eventually it will work. And then you'll get that message and then just click yes and then... Sometimes it asks you for the password, other times it doesn't, and it's still Alpine. And then you'll get this. Here are all your files and directories on your computer. Here are all your files and directories on your iPhone. And you can uh, take files and drag them into your iPhone folders. And I have a lot of videos on how to, or on things that relate to that on my YouTube channel. So check it out. Please subscribe.